The profit and loss limit indicator is available for various platforms on the Trading Finder website. From this section, you can download the indicator file for MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 platforms and run it on the R chart. Traders can also refer to this page to understand how the indicator works and operates. Select the indicator file and drag it onto the chart. Ensure Allow DLL Imports is activated and hit OK. A panel shows the Trading Finder logo, time until candle closes, and buy sell risks. Just make sure to enable the Allow Delivery checkbox in the comment section and then click Confirm. Once the indicator is on the chart, a panel appears at the top showing the Trading Finder logo on the upper left. View the time left until the current candle closes. Check the risk amount for a buy position and click to see the risk amount. View the risk amount for a sell position. Specify your desired risk amount, e.g., set it to 3. Enter your trade volume, e.g., 3.2. Open a buy position and the buy position is displayed. Set our entry point based on the bid price. See the entry price here based on this price. Also, see the risk amount for entering here. In the next section, you can see the risk amount to enter from chart. In the following part, you can write your desired risk amount here, e.g., risk 3. In the next section, you can enter your trade volume, e.g., 3.2. After that, I will open a buy position, and here we can see the buy position shown. I will write the same risk amount here, and in the entry section, we will set our entry point at bid price. You can see the entry price in this section. At this price, you can also see the risk amount for entering here. In the take profit section, see also your take profit level here, and you can see pip amount. Finally, see profit by entry volume. I will write the same risk amount and, in the entry section, we will set our entry point using the bid price. See the entry price in this section, which is using this price. Also, see the risk amount for entering. In the take profit section, similarly, see your take profit level in this part and the pip amount for your take profit. You can see your profit using your entry volume. In the lower section, see your stop loss price level, the pip amount for your stop loss and your loss amount at the stop loss. On the right side of each level, there's a section pin. In the take profit section, see your take profit level, the pip amount for your take profit, and your profit using your entry volume. In the lower section, also see your stop loss price level, the pip amount for your stop loss, and your loss amount at the stop loss. On the right side of each level, there's a section pin that, by selecting this option and activating, those levels become fixed. In the lower section, you can see your stop loss price level here, and observe the pip amount for your stop loss, along with your loss amount at the stop loss. On the right side of each level, there's a section called pin that shows the levels as dynamic. By selecting this option and activating it, those levels become fixed. And by deactivating this option, you can easily move the levels around. The levels are dynamic. Select this option to fix levels. Deactivate to move levels. Next, click to adjust profit loss limits. And by deactivating this option, you can easily move the levels around. In the next section, in the entry part, by clicking this option, you can adjust the position of your profit and loss limits. You can do this in the panel section by pressing the cell or by pressing the buy key and to replace. You just need to make sure to hit the delete button and redo the calculations and then you can enter your desired risk to reward ratio. For example, I will enter the risk to reward ratio here, but it doesn't show up for me. To do this, you definitely need to delete it first, and only then will the risk to reward ratio be displayed. For example, I enter the risk to reward amount here, but it is not displayed for me. To do this, a deletion must be performed, and after that, the risk to reward amount will be displayed. In the next section, you can change the color mode of the risk to reward display to night mode or day mode. Right now, it's set to day mode. And by selecting this option, you can switch it to night mode. I will choose day mode. And in the next section, you can easily enter your desired volume. And your profit and loss amounts will adjust based on that volume. You can easily move the panel and choose its exact uh, position.
or you can minimize the screen by pressing the minimum button. Well, friends, we've reached the end of this indicator tutorial. We would be happy if you could share your comments and suggestions with us in the comments section.